Hi, welcome to Big Argy Golf. I'm John, or Badger as everyone knows me, and we are deep into lockdown and we are, as the Buccaneers, helping Big John, Big John Oggy out by making videos to go into the channel and so you guys can see them. Um, Darren did something a little while ago, the Darren Diaries. So, this is my little diary. Um, here I am at home, in my kitchen, and I thought I'd talk to you guys about one of the things that we all do a bit of, some do more, some do less, while we're in lockdown, and we're all trying to get our golfing heads in, is a bit of reading. So, I've got a couple of books that I'm just going to do a quick review of. Review, just not really a review to be honest, just say they're books that I've bought and I like. Um... So, without any further ado, let's go to it. Right, book number one. Many of you may have heard of a guy called Tom Coyne. He is a professor. There you go, he is the real professor. He's not Professor Tucknut, but he is the real professor. He is an author, and he's done a series of books. The third is coming out soon, but it all started with this book. A Course Called Ireland by Tom Coyne. This is a adventure that he had. He decided he was going to he was going to play a round of golf in Ireland, trying to play as many of the coastal courses, the Lynx courses, as he could. And in this book, because he decided it was going to be playing all the Lynx, he wanted to walk between each course, so it made a whole course of Ireland, hence the title A Course Called Ireland. Um, he'd never done anything like this to this scale before, although he has been an author before. Um, and he'd written a couple of fairly successful books, but he needed something to, to do again. Um, and it's a really interesting story. I'll read the blurb on the back, because it's probably easier than me trying to sell it to you in my own way, not that I'm selling it to you. But the back of the book reads, on the wrong side of 30, married and staring down the barrel of impending fatherhood, Tom Coyne was well familiar with the last refuge of the American male, the golfing trip. And when he set out to plan the ultimate golf vacation, Coyne looked to the ancient links of Ireland, the courses where his fathers had taught him to love the game years before. And since Irish golfers don't take golf colts, carts, and since Irish golfers don't take golf carts, neither would he. He would walk the entire way. A Course Called Ireland is a story of a golfer allergic to exercise who treks his way around an entire country, spending 16 weeks covering nearly 60 courses, 900 holes, and more than a 1,000 hard-fought miles. He encounters blisters and chafing, dodges fearsome canines, drifting cars, and lives out of a backpack and washes his wardrobe in bathroom sinks. So, there's more, but I'm not going to carry on reading it. Uh, it's a really funny book. It's a really interesting book. He he writes it with some real wit. Thoroughly enjoyable. It's also great because if you've never played any courses in Ireland, which I haven't, um, it gives you a really nice little sort of idea of... What if you went to Ireland and wanted to watch play some courses, some great courses in there? He covers some hidden gems and all sorts, but he also tells the local people it's a really good, it's a travel book about golf. So, you know, great, really fires the imagination. I loved reading it. Um, in its own right, a total page turner, but yeah. Tom Coyne, really good author, really good book. He's subsequently done another book, A Course Called Scotland, um, which is the same premise, only as he quite rightly says, there's no way he was going to walk it again because he's done it once and it really hurt his feet. He's also 
just finished writing and there's a release date coming up very early this year so you can pre-book in advance a course called America which again same premise is traveling to all these different courses uh, and the little stories along the way just little anecdotes how we got there with silly things that happen um, but yeah so there's a couple of other books um, he's done some other books as well but you just got to look into him but personally as an author, really easy to read, very enjoyable. Um, yeah, but of all his books, this is the first one, of course, called Ireland. This sort of set the scene. Um, yeah, I've read it once. I'm about to read it again because I'm in lockdown. Um, but great. Really, really recommend it. A course called Ireland, Tom Coyne. Now, another book is this time it's a technical book. Um, I read a lot of technical books and a lot of teach yourself books. I go and see a, I've got a friend of mine who is also a bit of a coach of mine. Um, but as you may have seen from some of the recent videos of us up at Guella Moore, my putting can sometimes let me down. So I'm always looking for, I'm always watching YouTube, I'm looking for books. I, I'm always trying to find ways to help myself train, um, help myself to work on my putting, my short game, my driving, all of it. Uh, as much as I like being coached, I like to work on things myself so I actually get it in my head. And then I find I can actually keep it in my head. So with that in mind, I scoured around the uh, online booksellers and I bought this. One Putt by Mr. Ken Brown. Many of you will know Ken Brown, or know of Ken Brown, from his uh, Ken on the Course, his little segments that he does when they have the golf on the TV. Um, and he wanders off and tells you all about this green and that green, how playing off Augusta and Carnoustie and St. Andrews and all these big courses. Um his book is very much in a similar vein to how he does his presenting. It's it's a big it's a big book with big pictures. So I'm not going to say it couldn't have been condensed down to a much smaller book because some of it is, I'll be honest, padding. But it's still just good good book to read. But the good thing is, from a putting point of view, like there's a chapter, grip fundamentals. So there you go. It takes you right into the grip, putting grips. A lot of people don't think about it. A lot of people just grab the putter and carry on. Um, it covers that. There's a there's a very much, I'm just trying to find a, here we go. Right, I don't know if you can see this, but at the side of the page, there is this ladder to success that he works on. So you've got these different chapters, choosing a putter, the basic setup, reading greens, the setup routine, the stroke, touch and feel, tips and drills, one putting. So that, that's what happens through the book. Obviously, it goes into things. There's stuff here about yardage books. There's things about address. Really useful, that, about the address. Um, different ways of addressing how... You can see there are lots of different numbers pointing out this, 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 and this. Found it very, very helpful. Um, there's also the best thing about it is there's some good, there's some good, um, what's the word we're looking for? There's some drills and things at the end, which is really what I bought it for. Um, because I've kind of got an idea of what my grip's doing, I've kind of got an idea of where my feet should be and the address and everything. But it's the drills, you know, you go through, I, you go through YouTube and they're doing these drills and then you get to the putting green to practice and you forget about them. With this, I can actually sort of, if you want, you can take it with you. Um, but certainly if not, you can get in your head a little practice routine before you go. And also there's little practice drills you can do at home on your carpet. You don't need to be at the, at the putting range or the putting green. Um, I was really hoping to go along with this, 
before lockdown finished, I was planning on doing like a little putting, not masterclass, because that would be completely wrong, but I was hoping to do like a little sort of putting video saying, let's take some different drills from different books and see which ones we find the best. Lockdown's kind of scuppered that, but that's something I want to try and do later in the year. If anyone's interested, I mean, obviously comment below if you're interested in that, because that would be great if people want to see that. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm not a very good putter. I'm getting better, um, but I'm obviously always looking for ways to improve. And a lot of people are looking for ways to improve. So I thought that might be of interest to people just to see of these drills, very average putter. Let's try some drills. Do they work for me? Would they work for you? Is there anything anyone would like to see or, you know, but anyway, back to the book, I'm digressing, obviously, I always do. Um, yeah, One Putt by Ken Brown. It's not the cheapest of books either, but I thoroughly recommend it. It's very, very easy to read, very easy instructions to follow. It's, yeah, you're not reinventing the wheel here, uh, but it's, yeah, it, it's a really good book. I'm glad I got it. It's given me some useful little insights. Uh, which I've already put into play. Um, and now I've just got to sit and read it several times and wear a line in the carpet over lockdown. So anyway, that's it. It's only a short one, but hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up or a like. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed and you're just catching some of Big Oggy's videos for the first time, please subscribe. We need as many as we subscribers as we can, because then we can get lots more really good content going, which we'd love to do. We want to get the community really involved as well. So if you guys are out there and you want to do a little video during lockdown, after lockdown, but if you want to put something on and say, hey, Big O, I've got this great way of chopping me wedge. I've found it works brilliantly i've told everyone about it and those that try it it works great do a little video send it to us we really want to see it we really want the community to be you know a nice group of people that share ideas share their thoughts support each other you know through this time let's support each other so yeah if you've got anything you want to do do it contact big o he'll send you a link to his dropbox um or even talk to any of us you know we're just the Buccaneers. We're the backroom boys, but you can always talk to us. Not a problem. Um, anyway, so hope you enjoyed it. And let's hope to see you all when they open golf again. All the best. Bye.